Welcome to another edition of Chaplain John with Chaplain John Sayers, featuring special reports and interviews with people doing kingdom ministry in Tulare County and beyond. And now, here's Chaplain John. We won't be silent. <laughs> Gail and I, we were reading, um, we're reading through the book of Acts. And today we read through the chapter four of Acts. You gotta read that. Very exciting time. Peter and John get arrested by the religious authorities um, because of their speaking about Jesus. They get out of jail overnight. The next morning they're hauled in front of the court and they're saying, you gotta knock this off. You gotta stop doing this. You gotta stop speaking about Jesus. And Peter has a great, you got to read all of it, but read Peter's comment. But, but Peter says this in uh, chapter 420, he says, For we cannot stop speaking about what we've seen and what we've heard. We won't be silent, Peter said. We're not going to be, and they aren't. They get released and they're right back out there doing it again. You know, there are people in parts of our world today that are just making a stand for Jesus, that are not silent. And they're losing their very lives because they won't be silent. Well, I read that passage out of uh, my Bible. It's called the Founder's Bible, which I told you about before, and I hope you check it out. Because throughout the Bible, when you read certain sections, the editors of the Bible, they bring in some historic facts about our country, and it's exciting. I, I learned history growing through school about our, our country. I learned the history. I don't know if history is being taught right today, but it was taught right when I was in school. But to be honest, I never had a passion for it. Now I'm getting a passion as I'm reading scripture and reading about our 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 country, our history, what's going on today even. Now the editors of this Bible, uh, they have a section and you almost, it's good to read Acts chapter four and five. And they call this section, we won't be silent. And they list some things that uh, we need to be aware of because I wanna tell you something, the silent majority cannot be silent anymore. There are times we need to speak up. We need to stand for what we know is right. For example, let me read you a couple of things here that, that's going on in our country today. A state employee in Minnesota was barred from parking his car in the, his car in the state parking lot because he had a religious sticker on his bumper. And people are saying, we won't be silent about this. This is really weird. This is wrong. How about this? Get this. Look and listen to this. And a kindergarten student in Saratoga Springs, New York, was for forbidden to say a prayer over her lunch and was scolded by the teacher for doing it. Ah, are you serious? And people, parents are saying, no, we're not going to be silent about that. This is wrong. Senior citizens meeting at a community senior center in Blot Springs, Texas, were prohibited from praying over their own meals. And people are saying, no, we can't be silent about this anymore. We won't be silent about this. A librarian employee in, in Russellville, Kentucky, was barred from wearing her necklace because it had a small cross on it. Can't come in here and wear that little cross on it. And people are saying, this is wrong. We can't, we can't be silent about things like this anymore. Um, oh, how about one more? Let's do one more. In Orange County, California, a pastor was arrested for quietly playing Christian music at a picnic table in a public park. My goodness. We won't be silent anymore. I, uh, have you been following the Olympics at all? And to be honest, I have not. Um, most people don't tune into the Olympics. Um, um, it's not a big high thing to watch. But did, did, you, did you hear about the uh, women's soccer team? They, 
they wore sh their jerseys were saying Black Lives Matter. Remember to stand because Black Lives Matter. And they, they weren't wearing their jerseys that represented the United States, but Black Lives Matter. I really, people, do you know that you got to check out the percentage of black people that don't buy into Black Lives Matter? I got to tell you, it, it totally goes against what Martin Luther King was trying to share. Go back and read his I Had a Dream. You know, his dream was that little black girls and boys and oh, will be able to hold hand to hand and they'll not be judged by the color of their skin but by the character of their heart. That's what Martin Luther King was about. All lives matter. Not going to be judged by the, but by the character of the heart people. And there are people standing up today, which excites me. Parents are going to school boards meeting and I'm saying, no, we're not going to have things like this taught in our schools. Critical race theory. They're saying, no, we will not. We're, the silent majority is speaking now. And I and I, there's an organization that I'll type in how to find them, um, how to Google them. But if you just Google FAIR, F-A-I-R, you'll find out. In, I, I'm just learning about this organization, FAIR, and it's starting to spread. And I want to be a member of it. I am going to be a member of it. Because these are people that are saying we won't be silent. There's a lot of unfairness going on, not just in our school, but all around us. And uh, we, the silent majority, cannot be silent anymore. And it's exciting to see that we're not. Mm. God bless you.